All right. Um, I want to talk about a few settings that you can um, do for your form and uh, talk about how to set a theme for your form as well. Let's take a quick look at settings. There's just a few things in here. Um, there's there's a number of things that you can use that are uh, a little more advanced and you can kind of play around with this. Um, a lot of this requires uh, your respondent to um, to log in and that's could be a good thing. If you can, if your respondent logs in, you'll know who they are. If they log into Google, they'd have to have a Google account and that kind of thing. Um, but some of that um, would help you uh, validate your your uh, your surveys, uh, which could be important. A few of these things you can play around with, like show progress bar and so forth. Um, but what I would really like to center on here is a, a confirmation me uh, message. So when you fill in your form, when you've completed your form, the res the recipient is going to see your response has been recorded. Well, you might want to make that a little nicer or provide some other information like um, we can change it here by clicking there and saying uh, thank you for submitting um, you know your your uh, your or thank you for helping us. Um, you can say thank you for uh, submitting your answers and you know you can might give them more information the results will be available on our on our website later and so forth and then da 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 and so then when they've completed the form they'll have that that after they've submitted it that's what they'll see so that's your confirmation uh message okay so there's that's uh what you see under settings um, uh, one last little thing if you go up here to uh customize theme this is kind of fun you can click on that and then you can choose an image or you can change thing, change colors and so forth and fonts. But the easiest thing is to like choose an image. And so these are kind of fun to do. Um, you know, I own a music school. And so one of the things I've done on a lot of our, we have like uh, forms for our students to fill out, uh, parents to fill out. So I put um, uh, this picture right here. But look, you've got all these others as well. So uh, you can you can customize your um, your theme. You can upload your own photos if you want to. So I'll just do uh, go back to work in school and I'll just put um, how about that one and uh, I'll click insert. And whoop, let me go back to the questions and you can see it a little better. So then that'll be uh, if you if you want to see how it actually looks, you can always preview it. Right. And so that's how it looks. All right, so that um, that's a little bit of, of oh, I got to remember just a couple other things on my notes here. Um, a couple other little things. One, a lot of folks have trouble um, with the um, let me go back to this real quick with the with the link that they need to submit for the assignments. So remember, if you want to send um, someone the the link to to fill out the form, you would click send and you would go here and you would you could get the URL right here. The, 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 that's the link that they would need to complete the survey. But um, that's not the link you would need if you wanted someone to edit the survey with you. If there was somebody like a teammate um, uh, or your teacher or someone like that that needs to actually um, look at the look at the form itself, not complete the form, but to look at the form uh, in Google Drive, you would you could get this uh, right here and you could copy that. So uh, it depends on what you're wanting it for. But if you sent this out, some people do this as well. They send this out to people to complete their form, but they're not sending the, the that's the incorrect um, address to do that because what you would be doing is giving people access to to edit your form like we're doing here and really they wouldn't be able to get there unless you had shared that form with them so it would just give them uh, a bad address and they wouldn't be able to complete the survey so just don't get those two things mixed up this would be a link for somebody to edit the form with you if you if you had given them permission if um, like for example if you had shared the folder that the form was in uh, but this over here when you click send that link right there is the one that you would send for somebody to actually complete um, the survey. One last little thing that uh, I like to cut, run through here is if you click on more right here, there's a few things you can do. You can make a copy of the of the form itself. You can move it to trash and so forth. Don't use this uh, get prefilled link. It's not what you think it is. But here's print. 
And on one of the assignments I've given you, you're going to have to print, but you're not going to print it to a printer. You're going to save it as a PDF. If you have a printer here, you could do that. But if you click save as a PDF, then basically it'll take something, it'll take your form like this. This is how it would look printed. Uh, but instead of printing it, it'll put it as a PDF. This is helpful if you've got somebody that uh, you know, wants to fill out a paper form and hand it in. That's also helpful, and then you could actually transfer it into your spreadsheet uh, or into the form yourself. But anyway, that save as a PDF. Um, we're not going to do that right now, but on one assignment, I have you do that. So uh, let's see. I think that was it. Uh, collaborators would be how you could share it with other people to help you, like teammates and whatnot, if you all had a um a combined project to do but anyway that's all i've got right now for this so um i'm going to stop